Hello everybody, my name is Rolak. Welcome this back no to excuse you, Death. Welcome back to Dark Siders 2. In the last episode, we helped out the Hellguard in Earth, grabbed ourselves the Rod of Arafel, reformed it to be exact. And in today's episode, we are gonna be handing over the Book of the Dead chapter. Grabbing us the I bone key for do. Lost Light. Uh, and ignoring everything else. Uh, now, where's the death tomb again? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, so let's go ahead and teleport there. We're going to open up the death tomb, see what awaits us inside. Hopefully some goodies. I don't know. I, don't, I never opened this one. I've never opened any other tomb aside from the one in the Forge Lands. So I don't know what it will have in store for us. But we'll see. See, so Forge Lands, I still need to go ahead and get that thing that we missed. All right, what do we got? Open up. Now, is there anything for us to actually collect inside the death tomb? I don't think there is. Okay, let's see what we have. That's the entrance. Oh, this looks nice. Very nice. I can break the jars up. Okay, fuck it. What was that pausing? Ooh, what do we have here? Horde Seeker Talisman. Demon Merchant Volgrim discovered Horde Seeker within a long-forgotten tomb in the Dead Plains. Talisman he had found had an inexplicable link with all of creation, able to unerringly draw uncommonly valuable treasures to its owner. Whenever the bearer of this talisman slays an enemy, there is a small chance that a powerful item will appear. Wow. Oh. I don't see how really overly helpful that will be. Huh. Okay, maybe this increases the chances of us getting, uh, like, higher leveled, like, more rarities of levels. And two Bowman's Coins. Interesting. <coughs> Guarantee we're going to get a skill point from one of these chests. There we go. Skill points. Jesus. Bunch of gear. Lots of potions we can't use. And what about this? and wrath. Okay. Open up this one. This one's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gloves. Hammer of Frost. Honestly, I think that's better than the Hammer of the Deposed King. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're not even having that equipped. That has good critical chance, too. Interesting. I hate how these, like, special weapons... This is level 17! Seriously? Oh my god, why even bother? <laughs> yeah, that increases the damage by 500. I'm equipping this thing. I'm keeping this one. We got two points. Uh, we'll go ahead and rank that up. And then we'll also... Um... That one. We still use that. Okay. Alright. Enough dabbling. Let's go ahead and head back to the Ivory Citadel and get started. Because this is a lengthy place. To say the least. Yeah, look at it. It looks cool too. So why wouldn't you use it? Alright. So the gimmick of this place. Death water. Yeah. It's not great. Step in there. So we gotta figure a way to cl cleanse it. Pretty easy solution, obviously. You just have to, you know, go ahead and give it some light. Pull this thing around, lower that orb. And it will purify the area. Cleansing the water and getting rid of... Come yeah, on. The corruption crystals. That's one way of doing it. Is it going to be that easy for the rest of the dungeon? Fuck no. <laughs> what do you think this is? Vengeful spirits. These things were in the, um, what's it called? The Arbiter's Maze, but I didn't really want to go over explaining them. They're not, they're, they're nothing. <laughs> they're literally nothing. They're just floating scarabs. They die in two shots and they're incredibly uneventful in everything they do. So, yeah. All right, I've reset it all. Pretty much an angel dungeon. Gonna be finding some angels, mostly just all the, yeah, no demons actually. 
No, I keep forgetting that we keep going to like new locations and we just keep finding practically like brand new enemies to fight. A lot different from what Darksiders from the first game what it did. Because each area feels like unique in its own way with its own unique enemies and all that. So it's really interesting. And every last stone that is in Lost Light is in the Ivory Citadel. So we're going to be collecting a lot of shit in this place. Stop doing that. What does that... What, what happens? What happens when the game suddenly freezes like that? What fucking happens? Because it is terrifying every time that happens. Dual execution where you just throw the scythe against the vengeful spirit. Yeah, it's... I don't understand why they even made these guys the enemies. Crip looking angel right there. Alright. Like it's with the stingers, it's like with the scarabs. Is there one in the next area? There isn't actually. Ooh, hello, possessed gauntlets that don't do anything else. Alright. Dust. Now, it's been a while since I've completed this place, obviously, since. Not really, you know, on board with a lot of shit. Oh my god, I forgot about the goddamn gnomes, too. Completely forgot that was even a collectible. It's hard not to when you literally do nothing with the gnomes. Okay, there's a stone over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump across from here. And right there. Is it the last mystic? No, we just need one more mystic stone. Why are there 34 mystic stones? That's the one thing I never got, honestly. Why are the majority of the stones mystics? Most of the people that play this game aren't going to bother getting the, um... Going with the, like, magic build. Most, mostly, if you're playing this game for the first time, you're probably just going to be going for the damage build. Which, you know, makes sense, because why would you do anything else? big overlook of the area, can see what we need to be doing, and all that jazz, I guess. Uh, let's get to it. Angels! Crypton Angels. Execute. So yeah, watch our health bar. Instantly filled. Yeah, this is a very good weapon. I don't understand why we'd use any other weapon other than Black Demise. It is the weapon that makes you unkillable. Well, Unless you get swarmed by a billion enemies, get kind of interrupted by a lot of them, and just don't generally have a fun time, whatever. Alright. Uh, is there anything? No, it's a lot of coin. A lot of coins. Clothing all the coins, just not using them at all. Okay, uh, can I do the weird thing that I did last time? Not quite. Nope. There we go. Yep, I did it. <laughs> He's just gonna jitter in there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fun. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is plant a statue here. I remember this much. I'm not completely out of the loop. I'll open up that. And then we simply. If I remember correctly, I don't think there's anything actually up here for us just yet. There's some more spirits. Ah, yes. So, yeah. Press the switch, and I'll drop the statue down. This is what I'm talking about with the really interesting stuff with Soul Splitter. And we're not done with interesting stuff with the Soul Splitter just yet. This is a really cool power-up. Alright, just over there, you can kind of see it faintly. A very... Jeez, excuse me. There is a... What's it called? Legendary weapon. Just around the corner. We can't get to it just yet. Whoa. You know that guy was there. Okay. Yeah, it's right over there. Can't get to it just yet. And I honestly never really used that <laughs> the weapon. It's really not great. It's very basic and not all that needed to really progress anything. 
got you. I'll see you there. I uh, got another one. Can we even blow up that? It looks like we can. Yeah, there we go. And I think we're now able to actually pull that lever that was there. And this should open up all the passages and not allow us to do those puzzles again. Open up that one. Does it open up this one? It does indeed. And turn around here and grab Goldbringer. Fashioned by an unknown but truly pragmatic mind, Goldbringer robs all those it strikes not only for their life but of their coin. Engraved on the blade is familiar wisdom. To the victor goes the spoils. So anyways, I'm pretty sure all these scythes do minus touch. Which just, I assume, increases the amount of guilt you'll receive. But that's all it does. It does it does deal a bit more damage than what we got, but I mean, we don't really need guilt. I mean, look how much guilt we have. We really don't need much more. <laughs> loop over here, and I think this is actually a loop back around to the beginning. It is. Because we could just climb up a post on the side of the wall there and be up here. Is this where we're getting? It is, finally. Our final collectible upgrade. Well, second to last, but it's, yeah. An old but familiar friend. The Void Walker allows Death to summon two portals on specific surfaces through which he can move instantaneously. So yes, the Void Walker is back. Essentially, the portal gun, but without the blue and orange to probably avoid copyright, but who knows, really. So yes, plop a portal into these runes, plop another one, and there we go, we got a pathway. Very simple stuff. If we wanted to, if we wanted to deactivate it, we simply press left trigger while aiming. Very simple stuff. And similarly to the Voidwalker in the first game, we can charge up our shots of the Void Walker. Like, oh, hang on. Take care of these guys first. There we go. We can charge up our shots like so. Pop it there. Only has to be the exit one that has to be charged and we'll be launched out. Very handy, and with that, we do actually have all of our... Where is it? Why is it? Okay, never mind, it's not there. <laughs> you would think it would be there, but apparently not. And also, it's... Clipping through the... Yeah, this game isn't perfect. <laughs> it's the polite way of saying it. Alright, so... That all done. Actually, we want to head back real quick. I want to head back here. We want to put a portal over there. All right. Let me go ahead and grab a shadow bomb. And we want to toss the bomb through the portal. Landing there. And grinding against the chest. This chest contains... I'm pretty sure Scythes. Yes, Angel of Death Scythes. Charred Council demanded the finest smiths of heaven craft a weapon for the four horsemen as tribute to the rider's role in maintaining the balance. Angel of Death double Scythes were forged with the power of light, healing the wielder of every strike made against his enemies. So yes, I believe these are a healing type weapons. Health per kill, health per hit, health per kill, and health on crit. So yeah, you'll pretty much be healing on every single thing possible. Is it better than Black Demise? No. It's really not, when you really think about it. Because, yes, it does give health on pretty much everything. But Black Demise just has Lifesteal. Lifesteal is a percentage of the damage you deal with the weapon. Whereas with Angel of Death Scythes, those are just the amount of health you get back on, you know, damaging enemies. Which, you know, in some retrospect, may or may not be a bit better than percentage-wise. But when you're dealing a lot of damage, especially with how much strength we have, like how many strength do we have? How much? We have 187 strength. It is, yeah, health steal. 10% of damage dealt with the weapon is coming back as health, which is very, very good. Where the hell do we need to go? Did I mess up something? I don't think we did. Um, where are we? We're on the southern side. I just need to double check to see if I'm not missing anything. 
Okay, apparently not. We're pretty good for actually collecting things. That's good. I'm pretty sure we just head back this way, right? Yeah, this one takes us back to the main area. We're good for collecting things because we haven't actually, you know, encountered any collectibles just yet. Well, we encountered the one stone, but that's about it. And as for the rest of the stuff, I'm pretty sure it's just all the way back. Normal way. Is this the way I need to go? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we're back here. We're on the eastern side now. As for if there's anything over here that we can acquire, obviously there will be. Drop you there, and pop you there. Go ahead and give those angels a bit of a rude awakening. Fellas? If you would let me do my thing. There we go. Also, Black Demise fully heals you on executions. I mean, that's also pretty good, and a lot better than just, you know... Whatever the hell the angel of... Di angel of death scythes give you. I mean, like, come on. I think here we're actually going to get the uh, Angel of uh, Death um, armor set, actually. If we break these jars, cause a chest to appear, and I think these are this is the armor set, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. It is! Angel of Death shoulder piece. Yep. Boots, gloves, and body armor. I think this just gives very tanky-like stats. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. That's an overstatement. Defense, health, health regen, and wrath regen. Yeah. How much? How much are we going to get out of all this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> our, strength, our strength is garbage, but our defense and resistance. <laughs> resistance even, isn't even increased. Wow. That's very unfortunate. So, yeah. Decked out with all that, you will practically be marginally invincible. To a degree. Are we going to be using it? <sighs> nope. <laughs> so I'm, I don't want to go a tank build. This isn't the type of thing you should be doing a tank build for. Or the type of game that you should be doing a tank build for. Unless you want to go like that. I don't know why you would, but... Uh, I'll if I know. Clears the way for us. And we're good to go. Are we still on the eastern side? We are. Okay. Eastern tower. Okay, we're going to be finding the last Mystic Stone soon. That's going to be exciting. Never had that done before. Guns always just better. I guess this is the ambush it was talking about. There it is. Come on. Come on. Do, and there we go. That's the last Mystic Stone. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Go ahead and mark that off. And we don't need all that much stones left. We have like two, four, six, eight, ten. We just need ten more stones. Majority of them are going to be in the Ivory Citadel. And the rest of them aren't in this area, so that's good. Probably cut off of this page and just go about normally. Okay. Yeah, charged void. Go ahead and plop you there. Do we actually need to do this just yet? I think we'll keep it here, I guess. Plop you there for now. We'll be doing that until later. Thankfully, the uh, portals maintain their position. Practically no matter where you go. Which is really good. I think it was like that in the first game, but I'm not really too sure, honestly. Do we fight anything in here? I think we do. And I think we're actually getting introduced to a new enemy. Yes, we are. The Aphid. As for what they do, um, they hit you. They're like fast hitters. I fucking have no idea what they do, honestly. They're just another angel type enemy. They're more fast hitting. Okay. They're, they're just fast-hitting enemies, I guess. Certainly seem like the fast-hitting. Okay. All the enemies? Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and split here. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Well, split you there, plop you there, and plop you up here. Get good old statue to drop down. 
See, look at that. That's awesome. And automatically go back into death. It's just a bit strange. Uh, we go. Cross. Up. Grapple. Up once more. Now, is this thing where... No! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, crap, we need to find that other portal. Uh, <laughs> are we able to find it? Yes, we are. It's just right there. There we go. All right, and there we have it. We've cleansed the water. Aqueduct is flowing cleansed water through and through. And I think, is that it over there? It is. In fact, that's going to be our relic that we're going to be collecting. Drop down, collect you, Relic of Renegoth, very thankful indeed. Okay. Anything here for us? Doesn't look like there is. What about the pages? Is there any page in the eastern area? I don't think there is. No, it's just in the western and northern. Okay. So the western western section of the citadel and the northern section are the only parts we should really be concerned about. So this big area and that big area over there. Okay. Grab you. Flop ya. And there we go. Okay, and that is this whole section done. Anything else we need to do with the portals? Doesn't seem like it is. Just a lingering spirit. All right. So yeah, I guess you can see what the gimmick is of this dungeon is. Uh, we're going to have to cleanse the water so we can actually, you know, get to there. And we've already done one of three, so, so far so good. Um, should we cut the episode? I think we should, honestly, because I don't really think we need to be going any further until cutting. So, next time on Darksiders 2, we're going to be heading to the... Somehow the western part. Um, not too sure exactly how we're going to be getting there, but we're going to be getting there one way or another. And we're going to be trying to cleanse the rest of the areas. I think we need to be up there. God damn it. I'll figure it out. It's not too much of a hassle anyway. See you guys next time.